Okay, so I've decided because of my role, uh, and now I sometimes have to miss lessons and things, and I've also got my third kid on the way this year, so uh, there's going to be about a two, uh, six week block potentially where I could miss, you know, somewhere between two and six weeks. Anyway, I've decided to make a load of videos for you all um, so that you can learn some of this stuff without me necessarily being there um, or working at your own pace um, so that any absence I might have is not going to affect the, your outcome in your project. So um, let's start by showing you how to install PyQt. So I'm going to assume uh, whether you're in school or at home, you're using PyCharm because it's my recommended IDE now. I'm a big fan of PyCharm. So when you click new project, give it a name. So I'm going to call this um, guess the number. The reason I'm calling it guess the number, I'll put PyQt in brackets, is it's the first thing I'm going to show you how to make because there's so little complications or uh, complexity in the program itself. So we can just focus on the UI part. So I'll, I'll try to pick the simplest thing I could think of. So we're going to make a guess the number game, but with a nice user interface. And um, keep this box ticked because it creates as a main Python file. And it's also worth noting for anybody that's not aware, this is a virtual environment. So what we're going to do is we're going to install libraries into this, uh, effectively this project, but it doesn't mean they're going to in be installed into other projects that you might be working on because it keeps it within this virtual environment of uh, guess the number. So once you're in here, if I want to install PyQt library, I just click on file at the top, then I go down to settings. Um, and then I'm looking here on the left hand side for project. So, and I'll click on the interpreter. And these are where I can install extra packages. So if I click on the plus button here, and I search for PyQt, and I'm going to install number six. You can click on it, click install, and it's done. It's that simple. I also ins often install SIP, and it might be that later on you're going to want to come back here and install some of the other stuff. A lot of stuff is included, but like later on, I'm going to show you about the uh, PyQt designer. Um, in future videos, which is um, a way of you using effectively a program to build your user interface instead of doing it all manually like I'm going to show you here. So that's it for this video. It's just really easy. That is now installed in here. Um, so I can start making my user interface, which I'm making the next video. Yeah.